Hello classmates, this is Alex bringing you signs to you from my bedroom in my pajamas. Oh, yeah. Today we'll be going over the topic of genetic engineering so that these handsome little critters we know as goats can produce spider silk. Now I know what you may be thinking. No. Wrong. That isn't really how it works. I'll tell you how it works later, but right now we need to ask ourselves, why do we need to do this? Why is spider silk so important? And now Heidi is going to explain this next bit. So spider webs are 10 times stronger than iron and more elastic than rubber. But we can't farm spiders, so how do we get the spider webs? Excellent question, Heidi. Well, in the year of 2002, a brilliant fellow by the name of Randy Lewis had an idea of using a genetic engineering tool to splice the DNA of spiders in order to get their silk weaving gene. Now, once this gene was out of them, he had to find a new host for it. Uh, but who? He eventually came to the conclusion that it would be goats, combining the spider gene with the DNA of a, a baby goat allowed him to create a genetically engineered super goat, so that it would have a tablespoon of liquid spider silk for every gallon of milk it produced. Now while this may seem, not seem like a lot, we can actually mass produce this now if we have several hundred goats doing this. So now we have to think about the future of this particular area of science. And as you see, spider silk happens to be a Swiss army knife for different uses. It can be made into lightweight body armor. It can be made into cables for bridges that can span miles long because it's such a strong material. Nearly unbreakable medical bandages and surgical threads, all because of this one progression in science. Revolution. 